um it's coming this is a kind of a short point and just a general overall point that way to make <laughs> because i've been struggling lately and i feel like i need a bit of a reset so sober october is coming up right sober october is coming up and i've only i only started doing it because i listened to joe rogan podcast i didn't I hadn't heard about it prior. I don't know if it's actually a thing. I do know there's a dry January and something else happens as well. I forgot what it is in with the mustache. I don't know. There's other things involved too when it comes to sobriety. But Sober October for me was uh, one of the things I kind of leaned to because at the time when Joe Rogan was doing it with um, Tom Segura, Burt Crash and Ari Shafir, the idea around it was to also learn a new skill, pick up a new hobby, um, you know, do a sport, whatever it may be. It involves some sort of physical activity, competition type thing. It wasn't just being sober, which is great. But obviously the fact that they're all stand-up comedians and they kind of live a life of indulgence, them having to like abstain from any drugs or alcohol was a big deal. But obviously the sport aspect for me was an actual big deal because I get the opportunity to kind of commit to being like, hey, I'm going to go gym every day for the, for the month of October. I'm going to run every day for the month of October. I'm whatever maybe going to do. I'm going to go to CrossFit every day. I'm going to go to Muay Thai, whatever it may be. That's something that caused, kind of drew me to it. But over the last couple of weeks or so, even though I have said on this podcast a lot of the times that I feel like my raving has really improved because of this kind of awakening I had when I went to um when I went to flipping E one for the Labyrinth event, um, with uh flipping Henrik Schwartz and um Arm and I kinda of realized that hey, I could actually have a good time not drinking. Even though I had a couple of drinks before I left my house, I didn't actually buy any drinks at a club, which is something that I don't usually ever do. I always kinda of buy a drink at a club, I always have a drink on the way there, outside there, all that sort of stuff, right? Loads of loads of kind of UK British pre drinking before obviously doing any more drugs when I go into the club. But this time around I thought, no, I'm just gonna to stick to the drugs and I'm just gonna leave the alcohol alone. And I had a barnstorming night a great night we were there from like 12 to 7 when the event was on so just seven hours of straight raving getting sweaty partying you know you know pill after pill whatever it may be but the lack of apps the lack of drinking alcohol really made a big change in how i reacted or how i responded the next day the hangover one was brutal i was pretty much fine to go to the gym the next day i was fine as dandy and clearly it showed me this is where i need to kind of go going forward but obviously i've had my indulgences and one of my indulgences was last weekend i ended up getting a little bit white get wasted and kind of drinking way too much and you know doing too many drugs as well so i kind of feel like i need to reset myself and kind of get back to that even kill and i feel like sober october would be a great to do it because i can then start doing other stuff on top of that which means you know adding stuff like you know avoiding social media or like not being on twitter or not being on social media in general for the whole 30 days uh, making sure that i sleep a certain time like all these kind of things i'm going to end up doing i'm going to make a list of the things i want to do and then kind of stick to it it's going to be crazy it's going to be pretty nuts but i think i'm going to look at it when i'm i'm going to look at it at the end of the, of the month and be really happy that i did it and then obviously as a kind of gift to myself when i end up finishing it because you know as any kind of functioning um addict and these sort of things you end up kind of giving yourself a big reward that you kind of end up looking forward to i'm definitely going to end up booking a really barnstorming weekend of kind of partying and kind of indulgencies in places like berlin or going to amsterdam or something in november at the obviously the first weekend of november when obviously sober october finishes that'll be something that i'll definitely end up doing but i definitely feel like i do need to reset myself and get back to an even kill because you know sometimes especially when it comes to alcohol stuff it's not really conducive to really having a successful life in the slightest it really isn't especially if you party it just takes too much time away i think it's maybe okay if you're able to have a couple of drinks of a meal or something but even then it just makes you like a daisy call you end up looking really bloated you end up having that brendan short face um again the, the hangovers are awful because it takes away time that you could be spending doing the things that you need to do to further your life to whatever it may be to kind of advance your career it just takes away so much time you waste so much time that's what it is you waste a lot of time being hung over whereas drugs i feel like because they're number one expensive especially the ones i do they're quite expensive and i don't get them regularly um and also you know it's not fun to do them regularly on your own or to be, you want to do it when you want to go to a party and stuff and again partying in london isn't cheap so, um, is, is so you obviously end up only going out once a month or whatnot so you can kind of keep that to some level of you know normality but then you don't have the brutality of being, you know, hung over all the time and your head hurting and just feeling absolutely horrible. So I'm really looking forward to doing Sober October. And um, this really cool, funny little video that um, Ari Shafir done, I'm going to quickly play through that I thought was really fun, um, where he kind of makes a little promo reel about it. And hopefully you guys find it as funny as I did.
Come for your junk. Come for your time. Come for your bread. Ugh. Ugh. This time October, who do you want as your champion? Do you want some rich, highfalutin motherfucker with his high-tech wife and fancy workout gear that does all this shit for him? Or do you want a man of the people? Ari right, Shafir. I do my own chores. I fuck my own people. I make my own meals. I'm Ari Shafir, and I'm a man of the people. I'm who you want this sober October. I only have a way to lay in out of you. I just have to use the phone. I'm Ari Shafir, and I hope I can count on your vote for Sober October Champion 2022. <laughs> Pretty good, isn't it? So, yeah, let's, let's see what happens. Um, it should be interesting to see what, how they go. I think Burt's obviously going to need it more than anyone in that group. He's looking absolutely horrendous lately. I watched that Something's Burning with Mark Norman and Bobby Lee and his face is so red. Um, I guess a lot of it is a skin condition. I remember he said he's got some sort of skin condition thing, but also I'm, I'm assuming drinking as much beer he does doesn't obviously help. Even though I said, obviously, in previous pods that I still think he kind of fakes how much he actually drinks, but he's clearly an indulging, indulgent kind of guy. So having the ability to kind of stave off... I remember the first first time he did it and he lost so much weight he looked incredible in this button up shirt and stuff like but you know it's pretty difficult if you just live a life of being a, an adult so flipping teenager to somehow go to living a somewhat kind of straight edge kind of life but let's see what they end up doing what the challenge is going forward but i'm definitely looking forward to it like i said i'm going to reward myself with a crazy berlin weekend unfortunately it won't be that crazy because i think i'm working that weekend so i'll probably have to just you know um continue working um as i'm out there or whatnot but in general i'm definitely going to have that ability to maybe abstain from all the stuff that i would usually do on that month in terms of partying and going out and you know kind of you know dipping and dabbling and wasting time on youtube and social media and then picking up stuff again that i was doing so often prior that i've kind of left on the wayside like running like reading a lot um watching documentaries writing taking photography pictures and shit or just taking pictures in general and publishing all that stuff out all that kind of good stuff doing dj mixes all the stuff that i kind of wish i would do more regularly i'm gonna do obviously do a lot on during sober october because i feel like it would be the great chance opportunity to do so because i'll have no other distraction in the end of the month or when you know when the end happens i have a chance to celebrate and obviously i'll probably end up doing a live stream on that and making that somewhat fun so it'll be cool to see hopefully some of you guys join along if you don't then pick some month anyway in the year because i think it's important especially for myself you know being a flipping um full-time party addict it's quite nice to have the ability it's quite nice to know sometimes when you go out as much as i do that you know that you're not addicted to the the druggy alcohol side of things because that can sometimes be something that can kind of get you a bit lost in the source because I know a lot of people like that who have kind of had that thing where they kind of you know they go out a lot and they sometimes do get lost in the source sometimes because of the city they live in because it's cheap to go out and shit and you can just indulge or just because of the scene that they're in l loads of access to stuff blah -de blah 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 um, it can happen to anybody I'm not saying it's to judgment or whatever but it's nice to know when you do have a break that you're not doing it for those reasons so sometimes I'll you know especially when I was doing it when i went i think i went to Berlin. i've said many times i went to berlin uh, i think around january time a few years ago for some work thing and i was happening to do like a giant january and i happened and i didn't know i was going but it's like i lost my first like fuck so i'm going to berlin now like all expenses paid on a company card which is a whole different vibe when you go to those kind of places like, imagine you go to a place anyway and then you're now going to it with a company card it's like why so you're able to do what you want. We ended up going to some Adidas party that Kano was flipping, emceeing at. It was in some weird venue, cool venue. And they had this big fridge on the wall that just was full of Heineken beers that you just literally take out yourself. And then behind you, there was a bar that they just gave you free drinks. Like they just made you flipping um, cocktails based on the menu, right? Um, which is crazy. And Kano was obviously performing and it was all Adidas out and stuff. It was crazy. And I think they was giving some free shoes, but I missed that. But it was just a nuts, kind of fully comped out sort of media day type thing. And I was completely sober. Do you know what I mean? Not drinking at all. And then people ended up going out to Bergheim. We went to Bergheim after. And I was sober there the whole time. It was just a wild experience. But the great thing about it, the really gratifying thing about it, when I went back to my hotel room, was I was smiling from ear to ear because I was so happy. I was like, wow, now I know that I love this shit for real. I'm not just in this for the drugs and alcohol and the ladies and whatnot and the fame. No, I'm in it for the love of the music. I want to actually become a somewhat um, consummate DJ that's able to get played in these or booked in these kind of great places. I want to have the ability to make the money that is able to afford me the opportunity to go to travel to these places, to go and visit them as a punter. I'm not just there just to go get white, get wasted, which is a real, real 
um, for me anyway, it felt like a real comforting thing to see because I didn't want to waste my time at these places I went to and, you know, get inspired, get motivated, see the things that I love, you know, uh, ingratiate my, myself in the scene, um, whatnot, all that good stuff. I also didn't want to get lost in the source because that is completely something that I don't want to do at all because I think it's S-A-D, S-A-D.